This ordinary mate was cleaning the bathroom, but a man walks right into pee. Their awkward meeting leads to a different future. Marissa works as a maid in a five-star hotel in Manhattan. Because her ex-husband didn't want to raise their son, so she's both a mother and a father. This day she was cleaning as usual, but then Marshall walks into the bathroom, pulls down his pants and gets ready to pee. Marissa saw this and left in a panic to go to school. Her son's speech had already started. Ty wasn't sad to see Marissa arrive late. He was just sad that his father said he would come but didn't keep his promise. Marissa reassured him that next time would be better. Then she took him to the hotel. She had work to finish. Caroline sees Marissa and asks her to help her return the new dress. However, her colleague was envious of the silky, expensive dress. The dress was just the same size as Marissa's and she was asked to try it on. Marissa was forced by her colleague to put on the expensive dress. Ty was bored and wanted to go find Marissa, so he got on the elevator by himself, but there was Marshall on the elevator. Actually, Marshall is a candidate for president. Now he's a congressman and he's very interested in politics. He's always in the headlines. Ty knew who Marshall was. Marshall was very gracious. So they exchanged friendly greetings. He found Ty to have a unique perspective on politics. He was so talented at such a young age. Marshall was eager to talk to him. But Ty knew he needed Marissa's permission to hang out with strangers. So Ty took Marshall to see Marissa. By now, Marissa was dressed in a fancy dress. She had a very sexy body. Marshall sees her and thinks she's a socialite. So he fell in love with her right away. He invited her out to walk her dog. Marissa was urged by her colleagues to put on her coat and go out with Marshall. But as soon as they left the house, they were photographed by a frenzy of reporters. Marshall evacuated the reporters and caught up with Marissa. Ty had the good sense to take the dog and go play, leaving the two alone. Although it was their first time meeting each other, there was no awkwardness. They even had a good understanding of each other. Marissa had the insight to read a book. This was a surprise to Marshall, but a paparazzo caught them interacting. Marissa scrambled to her feet and hid. Because she can't be caught wearing someone else's clothes, the magazine was still stuck to Marissa when she stood up. Marshall took it off for her. And he looked at that butt and said it was okay. The three of them go to the oceanarium. Marshall and Marissa talk politics. Marissa speaks her mind. Marshall thinks she's a smart, beautiful woman. Marshall asks Marissa to meet him next time when they leave. Marissa doesn't agree, although she had a crush on Marshall. But how can a maid and a congressman be together? But Marshall does something daring to woo her. Beautiful woman in a fancy dress. The congressman saw her and fell in love with her. But this woman was just a hotel cleaner. They had even met in the bathroom. At the time, Marshall didn't even notice her. Marissa parted from him and went back to work. A colleague told her to be brave and pursue love. Marissa thinks Marshall thinks she's a socialite and treats her that way. If he knew she was a maid, he wouldn't have gone out with her. But Marshall doesn't know Marissa's true identity at this point. He hurriedly wrote an invitation and had his men deliver it to the woman in the presidential suite. They put it on the table and Marissa was called into the office. She thought she had been caught wearing Caroline's clothes but the previous manager had left. And Marissa had years of experience and the clients loved her. So they decided to make Marissa the new manager. Marissa is overwhelmed by the sudden news. Marissa wanted to take advantage of this opportunity. Mother and son were happy with the day's events. But the next day, Marissa was in the headlines. She and Marsha were photographed by paparazzi and made the headlines. Even though she only showed a side view of her face. But Marissa was scared too. Caroline received an invitation from Marshall to have lunch with her. Marissa knew Marshall was inviting her, not Caroline, but she couldn't go to the appointment or tell the truth. And Marissa has a new job assignment. She has to serve in Marshall's room. And it scared her. She had to cover her face with something. That's when Caroline comes in. Marshall is horrified to see a strange woman. And Caroline is very enthusiastic. Marshall was devastated. He said he was looking for someone other than Caroline. The manager knew from Marshall's description of the person. He liked that he was looking for Marissa. There's nothing he can do about it. But the two of them had a wonderful connection. While on the road, Marshall saw Marissa and Ty. He urgently approached them. Marissa says she moved away. Now she doesn't have the courage to say she's a maid. She also refused to give Marshall her contact information. His assistant gave her Marshall's contact information. 
Marissa heard he was going to speak about housing projects in the slums. She said that if Marshall was truly committed, he would be supported because she grew up in a dilapidated house there. So Marshall liked her even more. Marshall decided to invite her to the party. The assistant gave Marissa the invitation letter, but the manager wanted her to break up with Marshall. It's for the best. Marissa is confused. She disliked Marshall and she understands that. But her co-workers say, Cinderella can meet Prince Charming. Maybe Marissa will be the one. The co-workers help Marissa get all dolled up. A maid. A congressman. What made them fall in love? Can this Cinderella and Prince Charming get together? The maid's son can also help his mother find true love. Marissa decides to confess her identity to Marshall and breaks off contact with him. Her co-workers help Marissa dress up in a glittering outfit. Everyone in the room is stunned when they see the glittering Marissa. Marshall saw her figure and said she was beautiful. But Caroline felt something familiar about Marissa. Marissa fled in a panic. Marshall didn't want to miss the one he loved so he chased after her. Marissa is deeply in love with Marshall. But the difference in their identities was too great. Marissa couldn't be brave enough to say she was a maid. Marshall kissed and gagged her directly. They had a wonderfully hot night together. But the next day Marissa came back to reality. She fled on her tiptoes. It was time to wake up from her dream. As she was leaving, Erilyn remembered that the woman from last night was Marissa. She wondered how Marissa had hooked up with Marshall. So she went to check the security cameras. She found out that Marissa had stolen her clothes. The hotel called Marissa to the room. And Caroline called Marshall over to reveal Marissa's face. Marissa couldn't explain it all to him. So she was fired straight away. The manager encouraged Marissa that setbacks don't bring people down. You have to learn how to get back on your feet. Marissa was touched. On her way back Marshall came out after her and asked her what all this was about. Marissa says she's just a maid. Marshall couldn't believe it. Marissa knew she had done wrong. But if she was just a maid, Marshall wouldn't have even looked at her. The first time they saw each other was in the bathroom. Marshall didn't even look at her. Even though she was the one who cheated in the first place. Marissa still felt guilty. Marshall kept asking her to tell the truth. They both knew they loved each other. But that has got in the way of love. People often said that Marissa's desire to be the congressman's wife was just a pie in the sky. Even her mother urged her to let go of the relationship. She was chased by a bunch of reporters when she left the house. And Marshall thought about her a lot. Marshall clarified that he and Marissa were very good friends. Marissa knew it was the right thing to say. But she was still hurt. As the days went by, Marissa found a new job. And Marshall's new speaking gig is at Marissa's work hotel. Ty found out and decided to help them out. He asked Marshall in public if he could forgive Marissa for her previous mistakes. Marshall said he would. Then Ty gave Marissa's location. Marshall left the lectern and ran all the way to Marissa. Marshall asked her, can we get to know each other again? Marissa knew she loved this man to death. Then they kissed. And it was live on TV. The future was going to be great for both of them.